Hello everyone. Uh, if you had seen my Lady Cup review, it is the same day, so I am in the same clothes for those of you that like to note those things. But now I'm going to talk about the Ruby Cup. And the Ruby Cup is uh, from a company that was originally in Germany, and now they're based in Berlin and Kenya. According to their website, they are uh, they do use 100% medical grade silicone, and they have this really awesome concept called the buy one give one, and that is every time a Ruby Cup is purchased, either from their website or one of their other um, vendors that carry the Ruby Cup, they give a cup to someone in need in Africa. So that's a awesome concept and a great feeling for an individual to know that you're helping someone or that you're buying from a company company that uh, is you know help, reaching out to help other people and it's not just all about the money for them the ruby cup only comes in one size and obviously this is their one size and they have three different colors this is the clear and they also have a pink and a blue now I did purchase mine in a D stash, so sadly my purchase will not help anybody, um, at least not yet. Hopefully I can help you answer some questions that you might have had about the Ruby Cup. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So again, mine was in a D stash, and I didn't get the box or bag or whatever it originally comes in, and I also didn't get the pamphlet that it comes with it that has um, instructions and information on use, storage, and cleaning. But you can find all of that information on their website. Um, I did receive the little pouch that it originally comes in, though and the cup itself. And when I had purchased it in this D-stash, uh, the stem was already taken off, so I'll go ahead and put the photo up of the cup with the, the stem. The Ruby Cup website has different packs um, for buying the cups, and again, I can't open up my website right now, but you can buy just the cup by itself, or I think there's like a double pack um, maybe all three of them for a, a discounted price. I, I'm not sure, and I'm very sorry that I don't have this information right now. Um, I have a, a virus or something, and my computer is scanning. So this cup measures approximately two inches tall, and I'll go ahead and just do a measurement for you quickly. Uh, and, of course, that is minus the stem. And like I said, I can't say anything about the stem because it was already cut off when I received it. But it looks like that seam in there is still has a really good piece of meat in it where if the person that I had purchased it from wanted to um, level off this little bit of meat that she left, uh, she probably could have down to that first grip ring. So right under where the stem would have been, there are these three grip rings. And they have a nice, smooth transition between all of them. There's no rough or hard edges. And it, it gives a nice area for you to pinch down on to feel like your cup is secure and not going to slide out of your hands. They're they're not raised a whole bunch. Oh, I didn't have my hair in place, but I'll use the black of it um, to show you how raised those bumps are. So not very much. They're nice. They're, they're a nice finish. It's just... Um, I don't know. Although they're they're rings, you know, they they're not really pronounced so that they make a lot of noise, and it just sm feels smooth still in my fingers. This is a nice silicone throughout the cup, and I'll go ahead and do that pull test. So it is a smooth silicone as my fingers just glide over it. They don't have a really high secondary rim here, and here's my Diva Cup, just to show you. That rim is down here on the um, Eva, um, Eva Cup, I'm so sorry, Ruby Cup, and 
uh, the rim is higher on that Diva Cup. It's also a bell-shaped, as you can see, uh, as opposed to the V-shape of the Diva Cup. So it is a little uh, shorter than the Diva Cup. And then they have that top ring there, and there is a seam that runs all the way around in the center of this cup, and there it is. But they finished it off really nicely. I can't hardly feel that. Uh, barely feel it with my fingertips. Uh, so they did um, finish that off really nicely, and I don't think that would give you anybody a problem that's sensitive to those things. So they did do a really good job of, um, I guess, making those transitions nice and smooth for people that have a lot of sensitivity. Right under the rim, there are four suction release holes. So there's two there and two more in the back. And they're not evenly spaced around the cup, but they are, um, I don't know if they're punched, drilled, or molded, but if I pinch the cup together, they, the holes do match up. On the inside, it is molded with the Ruby Cup name. And even the inside, all of these moldings uh, printed in there or stamped in there are not really raised, so I don't think that they would give any problems when you're trying to wash the cup out. Right under the name there, there are um, measurement lines as well as the other side it also has the measurement lines and that says 15 milliliter and 15 milliliter from that top line there to where the top of the stem would have been uh, or the the base of this cup since I don't have a stem uh, that is a half an ounce so you have quite a bit more room until you hit that top and I don't know if I have uh, to the rim if if you use your cup um, capacity to the rim is over an ounce so that's a good high uh, high capacity cup I would say so this is a nicely made cup they did a really good job with their design and their transitions between all of these um, raised areas so my experience with the cup uh, I had used it on a dry run or I tried it on a dry run and then I used it a couple times on my cycle uh, to give it a fair fair chance um, and I used my punch down fold that I usually use and it popped open really nice and easy I didn't have any problems I just had to give it a little pinch and that rim just popped right open um, I didn't have to fiddle with it while it was in to try to get it to open and it did pop right open onto my cervix. I didn't have to reposition it a whole bunch of times and I usually don't have any problems um, after I insert any of my cups that it usually opens right on my cervix. I guess I'm just lucky like that. Um, however, I do, you know, I still do check just because I don't want to leak. Um, but this one placed or opened right on my cervix or right around my cervix really easy. Um, Again, I didn't have to fiddle around with it to to get it into place. So this was a really nice cup to have. Opened really easy, um, was in position really easy, and I liked that a lot. However, after a few hours, I would say around six at my six hour mark, I started to cramp, and so I went in the bathroom and I went to go remove it, and. I found that it like suctioned itself up onto me really tightly and my cervix was in there and I think that's why I started cramping. My cervix was being suctioned way too much and so I pinched down and I pulled and it was pulling my cervix and it was pretty stuck. I've never had a cup suction so hard on me. So I did have some problems removing it. I had to insert a finger way up top to the rim and try to get it to release um, that pressure. And so I had to bend it down and kind of go at the rim there just to pull it back so air could get in there and actually remove it. And I thought maybe it was just an off day, so I went ahead and used it again a few days later 
and same thing around the six hour mark it it was the suction was too much and um, I started cramping and you know I, I went to go take it out and it was up there my cervix was sitting in it and it was just too strong of a suction so uh, it's it didn't end up being my favorite cup so I do have a high cervix and I have heard that these bell shaped cups are great for uh, um, people with a low cervix so and I can't say anything about that because both my daughter and I have high cervix so I can't ask her um, but it might work a lot better for somebody that has a low cervix it just didn't work for me and I can't ask my daughter how she did because I didn't give her this cup to review or to um, test out for me yet so I'm sad that it wasn't uh, a fit for me but it is a really good made cup well made cup I, I really do like it and I like uh, their program of buy one give one so it, it might work for you it's it's an awesome cup and I would have loved for it to work for me um, but it just didn't so hopefully I covered some questions you might have had about the Ruby cup if not you can leave me a comment below or you can find me on Facebook I'm also red herring there thanks for watching